Yep. Hi everyone, Mike Stokes with Rock Planet Design Build. Today I'd like to show you a video about how to flash a window and this particular system that we're using. Uh, it's part two. The other part was the beginning of this window and this is the second part in that uh, video. So if you'll notice this wall is pretty unique looking. So we're flashing to a tar paper wall and these strips right here, this is T111 siding spun around, treated with copper green wood preservative and then has a slot. The slot is in the back so that water can go down the drainage plane down into the ground. So what most people don't realize is that the siding that goes on your house is not what is protecting your house from the water. What protects your house from the water is this drainage plane. The siding literally protects this drainage plane. So in this particular application, we're putting on vertical siding. So we had to do these horizontal furring strips in order to have something to nail the siding to and to have a plane behind the siding so that the water can travel down through uh, this drainage plane in the back. So they can grab it'll hit here and then go through these grooves. So back to the window, so in order, because we're doing these furring strips, we had to put furring strips around the window. So behind this, if you watch the last video, you'll see that we have this um, Fortiflash bitchethane back here. And then we also put a layer of tape to try to stick it better to the um, tar paper. But what really makes this work is that we put this furring strip on here really tight and it's pressing and holding the Fortiflash on to the tar paper so it creates a nice glue adhesion right there. So that's really the key to finishing off this flashing system because the weak point in these flashing systems when you're trying to put them on tar is that it can peel off of that tar. It has a hard time adhering to that tar paper. So the other thing I'd like to point out is on the top of this we put a bead of caulk. And the reason we put a bead of caulk in is just a little bit of extra insulation or extra insurance so that if any water got above there that it's not going to go behind that trim and then back and try to get into that window. Now even if it did get back there we still have a layer behind this flashing that should make it shed away but what, what I find a lot of people talk about when you flash windows if you watched other flashing videos they talk about that extra interior layer that you put in and really that's kind of the wrong place to put an extra layer because if your water's gotten into your framing wall you've already lost the game. So if you're going to put an extra layer, why not put your extra layer on the outside so you're ensuring that your water's not going to get there in the first place. Um, I mean it's good that we put an extra layer on the inside too, but where we really want to be focusing on is not letting that water get past this drainage plane in the first place. Um, another thing that is I think important to talk about is you see this this window is underneath a nice big eave. So it's going to take a lot of wind driven rain to get up inside of this window. So I feel really confident that even if we did nothing to this house, we didn't even side it, this window would last a long time. It would last basically until the paper rotted off, but we are going to put siding on that's the next step, which we'll make another video to show that. So basically what I wanted to emphasize is how once you flash onto this tar paper and then you really press this uh, furring strip or if you're not using a furring strip, a siding strip, whatever your siding strip is, make your siding strip wide enough so that it really presses down the entire piece of, piece of bitchethane to the tar paper and that will really lock it all in place. So thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, peel please feel free to leave them in the comment section and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like it and have a great day. Cool.